My name's Mark, welcome back to Pony Power. So, today I am cleaning valves that are off the CX500. Um, so we're going to clean them and then evaluate them and see if they are worth saving or if we need some new ones, mic them, etc. All that rubbish. So, um, what we're going to do is we'll grab the valves, get some insulting tape. This stuff is good for nothing. And I have loads of it. It's not good for wire connections. It's not good for anything. But we can use it to um, protect our valve stems while we stick them in the drill chuck. The reason for doing this is to protect the valve stem from the jaws of the vise. Um, jaws of the chuck vice, I don't know what I'm bloody saying, don't listen to me. Um, because we want to try and keep the valve rotating, so we've got quite an ample amount of tape on there, as you can see. Get your drill. And this is a brass um, wire wheel. Don't use steel. Um, because you will mark the valves. We don't want to bite any metal onto it. We want to just lightly graze them so we can lock the valve stem in the drill chuck we really don't want to be going that fast either so not max speed that's easy enough so what we want to do is we want to turn the valves in the same direction as the wheel is going in the wheel coming towards us. So we need to have the drill go towards so they're both meeting the middle, middle like gears. Make sure you look, mix up your valve gear, make sure you've got a um, full face shield because this will fire out bits and pieces. Make sure you've got your sleeves covered etc. And all we're going to do is we're just going to kiss the back of the valves, kiss the face of the valves, try and come lower than the centre line of the, of the wheel don't come up here because it'll want to kick it off at you and we'll crack on at all which is good because we don't want the heat and we can clean up the valve and we can look at the stem properly off the pitting etc as you can see it's bit into the tape but not the valve and you can see that yeah you can see that all right then, let's just crack on with the rest
time there's all four valves. Try to figure out protect all the valves in number order. And uh, with their respective respective springs, etc. And uh, yeah, she's they're looking quite kinda of good. You can see they've got a lip on the seat. But the seats are okay, they're not brilliant. I think they're definitely usable. Um, what you do want to do, ideally, is uh, polish this by hand so it's literally shiny, as reflective as you can get this surface. The reason why you want to do this is because it'll stop the carbon sticking as much if there's uh, an ultra smooth buffed surface. But don't go mad with power tools etc. You really don't want to weaken the valve in any way. When you are doing this with the wire wheel etc there'll be a band you'll see where it goes dull from like there to there. Do not polish that bit, do not touch that with the wheel. The reason why is that is where it rides inside the valve guide. But these valves, can you see that? Yeah, they're looking, the seats are okay. Um, yeah, like I say, only polish up to where the uh, friction weld section is, which is the, the ridgy, bumpy bit there. Don't ever go any higher. The exhaust valves, they feel much broader seat, as you'd expect. Can't seem to get that centre section bit. To be quite honest, it doesn't matter. We can just leave that there. That's not going to really be anything detrimental. The actual seat surface is fine. It's got some horrible discoloration, probably from uh, work, um, work impacting, work hardening. But the valves themselves, it's got some shite on it, and the springs. The valves themselves look, for all intents and purposes, okay. Now, we'll get our, we'll go into the other, the other side of the workshop and use our engineering granite block and uh, we'll roll the valves so basically you take the tape off and you roll the valves and see how much of it you can see you see that there? probably not so here you can see because of the tape the ends bobbling everywhere and obviously you won't do it on here but that just gives you an example of a, a, a bent valve etc even slight, slightly bent is uh, a chuck away a reason to chuck them away. So, there's us a slight, slight pit in there, but nothing crazy. So all the valves, in this head anyway, this was the first head we took off, look pretty good. So, I'm not going to put you through the rigmarole of um, the other head. Uh, the other set of valves, I'll just do them off camera, because there's no point doing your head in. And, uh, We'll inspect the rest of it. Next thing we need to do is we need to measure the um, free length and then the coil bound and the force of the springs. Um, I'll show you how to do that um, in an upcoming video.